<laughs> you fiend! You you'll pay for that! You pay for that! You took my body! You took my life! Then you even killed Fatima and Hussein! You're gonna regret telling me that, Zamasu! Because now I'm mad! I'm really, really mad! And now, it's time to pay! Fired up and ready to go Wired as a new arc and files Grab on to fate Everybody. Welcome back to this week's episode of Hero of Z, where we discuss the backstory of Goku T23, Vegeta T23, and other T23s. Before we begin this backstory, if you haven't already, please click the bell so you'll be the first one to know when any new episode of Hero Z comes out. And if you haven't joined our Discord server yet, click the link in the description below and join it so you have a chance to be a member of our Discord server. And also, if you're interested in being a subscriber to our member channel, click the link in the description below and be one of those subscribers for our channel. The battle with the Aronkar has started as everyone was busy fighting with them and doing everything they can to hold their own, even tried to beat them. Abbas and Michael decided to kick it up a notch as they both went and they used their Super Saiyan. With that, both of them stared towards their opponent as Abbas got to his ready position and said, Be careful Michael, don't drop your guard and make sure you make it out of this battle. I'll be fine. It's you I'm concerned for. Stay alive. I don't want to lose a brother here. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. As Michael went and he charged head on towards Okiora and jabbed him in his face, getting to be sent flying. But Okiora didn't waste any time. He instantly went up and strike Michael back as he got him to be sent flying towards the ground. Michael then went and he decided to go and use his essence and continue to attack Okiora. Abaz on the other hand went and he charged right towards Grimjow and packed him, getting to be sent flying but Grimjow instantly came right in front of Abaz and he decked him in his face and with that he kicked him in his stomach, getting Abaz to gas for air. With that he began to laugh and say, <laughs> You're so weak! Is that all you got? Super Saiyan! Come on! <laughs> Your power's not bad, Aronkar, but I'll have to ask you the same question. Is that all you got? You know something? I have this special attack called the Thousand of Death Punch, where in 30 seconds I can punch you a thousand of time. Wanna see it? <laughs> Talk all you want, but until I drop my guard, you won't ever have the opportunity to do that to me. Fatima, on the other hand, went and she hit Neliel. As she got sent flying, but from there, Neliel powered up a settle and aimed it towards Fatima. Before it could get dispersed, Fatima went and she transformed into her Super Sayed. <laughs> Upon seeing Fatima use her Super Saiyan, all the other Saiyans out there, they followed as they all transformed into their Super Saiyan. Okay then, 
Let's see what you can do now, now that I'm using my destroyer Super Sayed. Don't drop your guard, Shifty. We're not out of the water just yet. Going to your Super Sayed, huh? But that won't stop me, weakling Sayed. Calvin went and he used his Super Sayed. This is the power I'm going to use to defeat you. After all, I got this power training with the angels. Locus decided to go use his transformation as he transformed to a form called Luranian Essence Form. Now it's time I use my Luranian Essence Form. You're done for, Berrigan. I land you with this power. What the? I'm confused. Why does this guy have Sayed Ki flowing through his body? This is so confusing. While everyone was busy fighting, Dai Shinken has arrived. As they were watching in from there, Weez has also arrived and said, Father, it will look like everything is going according to plan. Tonight's the night, Weez. We're all here to see what's going to happen. Tonight's the night where the mass is going to meet with all of them. And not just that, we're going to find out who is the best man of the master tonight. Ah, I see. Well, I guess I'm going to have my money on Michael. Michael has been through a lot of changes and became one low fall of the master. <laughs> so today is the day, huh? It's obvious who will be the one. I had to train Calvin since the day one because master ordered it and there's no doubt he will be the one. Well, if he passes the test, then there's no doubt he will be the one. But everyone is going to be tested today and they're all going to be tested on the same thing. With everyone going Super Saiyan and using their power, it was time for them to kick it up a notch as they decided to go and use more of their full power. Shifty and Gohan worked as a team and from there they went and charged right towards Noritora and they striked him in his face. Noritora went and he used his Anpakuto to hit them but they were able to overpower it and with that they managed to move Noritora just a bit. Yami, on the other hand, was holding his own against Zaman, Kefla, and even Broly, as they're all doing everything they can to overpower Yami. Zaman was confused on one thing that how, while using the Super Saiyan, they're struggling against Yami. And at the same time, Yami wasn't showing no sign of fatigue. What the? How is this fat ass still standing after taking all those hits, man? It's like, no matter what we do, he still comes back for more. It's cause you're weak. You say it's nothing but trash. Trash, huh? Well, let's just see who's trash after I'm done with you, you gook. As Zaman began to power up more power, and with that he rushed towards Yami, trying to hit him, but Yami was making sports out of them. Meanwhile, Stark was holding his own against Gildarts and everyone else, as they're trying to do everything they can to overpower him, but from there, he was really strong. Gildarts then looked towards Stark and he began to laugh and say, You guys are very weak. Tell me, it is a waste of time fighting you, wouldn't you agree? Weak, huh? Well, in that case, how about I use my time of arc magic on you? As she began to go and use it, but Stark came, and before he could land a finishing blow towards her, someone came and strike Stark in his face, getting to be sent flying as he managed to save Ultir's life. It was no one other than Itachi Uchiha. There is one thing I hate the most, and that is a non-follower of the master trying to get in our way. You're Itachi Uchiha, the one who slaughtered his entire family and clan. I heard a lot about you. You saved my life. Thank you. Well then, it is time I get rid of you too. Not before I do. Crushing evil, spreading truth. Imperium! As Geldars went and he landed a blow to where Stark, and with that, Itachi followed as he summoned his son Sanao and he striked him. Renji and Ultir went and they powered up a hit, getting him to hit on Stark. Abbas, on the other hand, was getting his ass kicked by Grimjow as he continued to block all of Abbas' hit, and from there, he began to go into offensive mode. Michael was falling short towards Okiora as he started to attack him non stop while everyone was fighting. The master has now arrived. As he saw the full-fledged battle was happening and everyone was trying to hold on their own guard against the Arankar since they are very powerful, but from there the master has come and he told everyone individually to stop their battle and to drop their guard. Shifty, Gohan, Juvia, this is the master. Drop your guard. Ah, uh, what? Whoa, really? Uh, okay. With that, Gohan and Shifty along with Juvia disappeared to the place where the master was. 
The master saw the next fight and told Gildars, Venji, Ultir and Alden the same thing, as they were all shocked to hear the master's voice, but his order was also very confusing. If they were dropped their guard, they could have died. But before they could do that, all of them end up arriving to the same place where Shifty and Gohan were. Calvin, Locus, this is the master. Drop your guard. What? If I do that, I'll get hit. Huh? Drop it and during a battle? Uh, okay. As they have all teleported to the same place where everyone were. Urza and Tia were going at it along with Satellizer, but until they heard the master's voice, he told all of them to drop their guard, as they're all very confused and they hesitated, but before they could do it, they have all teleported to where everyone were. Fatima and Nelia were going at it non-stop, as none of them were ready to give up. You're very stubborn, huh? But it won't help you. I don't care what you say. I'll never give up. And I'll show you what it means, simping on my man. As Fatma went in, she was about to power up her key, but before she could, she heard the master's voice telling her to drop her guard. Fatma was a little confused, but quickly did so. And with that, she has also teleported to see where everyone else is where. As they all saw Fatima has now arrived, Michael and Ukiora were going at it as he was overpowering Michael and from there Ukiora smiled and said, You're too weak. Now you don't stand a chance against me. Quit now and you will save yourself from some pain. Ukiora, I still got power left in me. Don't worry, you'll get a proper beating soon enough. As Michael began to go and use his essence, but before he can fully take over the essence power, he heard the master's voice saying, Michael, this is the master. Drop your guard. Master? He spoke to me. Okay. As Michael did it, and with that, he has teleported away. Everyone was confused on what's going on, and why are they all there until they saw Dai Shigen and Weez, along with other angel, has come, and they all bowed towards the master. With that, everyone saw the master for the very first time, as they're all amazed and shocked, and from there, they also went and bowed down towards the master to show their respects, and before they could say anything, the master looked towards all of them and said, Today was a test day for all of you. The test was to see who will be my best man. And all of you have failed the test. Only one person passed the test. M master I did what you asked of me. I pulled my defense. Of course you did. But you did hesitate at the same time. And same with the rest of you. At least you and Fatima didn't say anything. Just a little hesitation and did it. That's the reason why, as of today, Michael, you will have the rank to be the king of all Sayed. And for you, Fatima, you will be the leader of all women, aka the queen of all Sayed. All of you here are going to represent me. And as of today, each and every one of you are now considered the Z Fighters. We will be known as the Z Fighters. Master, thank you very much. And I'm sorry for any hesitation. I won't ever do it again. I won't let you down again, Master. Me too. But, Master, who passed the test? Well then, why don't you guys all see for yourself, since I can read all of your guys' heart, and all of you guys are wondering who and why they have become my best man. How about you guys see for yourself? As Master went and he instantly teleported everyone that was there, and they came right next to where Abbas was. Only they were able to see Abbas, he couldn't see them, as everyone was looking towards Abbas' battle with Grimjar, while the Master smiled with pride and said, This is my best man. Watch and see how you're supposed to obey your Master's command. <laughs> Looks like all your friends have left you, and now you're all alone here with me and the rest of your wrong cars. Say it, we will end your life here. I don't care who left, the result will still be the same. Now it's time to kick it up a notch, Grim Jow! As the boss was about to go and power up his Kaioken, but before doing so, he then heard the master's voice as the master said, A boss, drop your guard. 
Without any hesitation, and even without saying anything, Abaz went instantly right back to his base form, and with that, Grimjaw saw the opportunity and said, Yes! Now it's to my turn! Grimjaw instantly came right in front of Abaz, and he did his 1,000 punch of death as he began to punch Abaz's face non-stop. With each hit, Abaz was bleeding, but Grimjaw managed to go and land about 3,000 punches on Abbas's face as he continued to punch him non-stop and while Abbas was getting the light beat out of him, the master looked with pride and said, You see, without any hesitation, he listened and obeyed his master. That is the reason why he is my best man. Abbas, you can now fight him. Grimja was about to land another blow, but from there Abbas caught his fist and with that he began to stare at him as his entire gi was torn out and said, Now it's my turn, Grimjow. Kaioken times three! With that, Abbas went and he unleashed an enormous Z-Blast right towards Grimjow. Grimjow went and he used his left arm to dodge it, but the blast was too powerful as it managed to destroy his entire left arm and it got cut and it left a huge scar on Grimjow's stomach. With that, Grimjow was in pain as he couldn't believe what he witnessed and said, uh, What the hell? How did you have that much power? Now you're dead! Uh, uh, uh. It is time for all you guys to come back. Lord Iblis commanded all of you to return back to Las Noches. <sighs> Abbas, this isn't over. Mark my word, I'm gonna kill you. And wanna know something? I only use 30%. I still have my unleashed form. All of that will be used on you. As Grimja Okiora and the rest of the Arankar has disappeared. To find out what happened next month's defense, you have to click the bell as we end things right here. If you haven't joined my Discord server yet, what are you guys waiting for? Click the link in the description below and join it as that is a Hero Z server and you'll get all the updates and new flash and even sp